everyone, I'm here with my favorites for the month of March. So I'm going to start with my beauty favorites and then kind of go into some of my other type of favorites. But starting with the beauty favorites, this has been my favorite lipstick of the month. And I usually don't wear lipstick, so for me to have a lipstick favorite, I must mean I really like this. But this is one of the Revlon Lip Butters, and this one is in Berry Smoothie. And it's just a like pink... Um, color. I like it that it's not so overpowering. You definitely see it when you wear it, but it's not like, oh my gosh, crazy color. But I've been loving this for spring. Another favorite, and I just got this, mo this month, and I definitely needed it, so I don't know why it took me so long to actually buy something like this, but this is just a clear mascara gel. Um, this is the Great Lash one by Maybelline, and I just use it to tame my eyebrows, which um, I have thicker eyebrows, so it's something that I definitely need. Something else I've been doing this month, I've been using just a purple eyeliner just at my lash line. And I don't use it to have like that pop of color. I more use it for brightening, and I see it really works. So the one I've been using, this is by Urban Decay. It's one of their 24-7 liners. And this is in the color Ransom. So it's just a very pretty, kind of almost like electric purple color, but... I've really been liking using this. Um, my favorite eyeshadow has been from the Naked 2 palette. It's been a specific color, and that color is Foxy. It's just the first one in the palette. And it's kind of a yellow, it's a matte color. I just like using it as um, an all-over lid color. And I think it's perfect for the everyday use. So those have been my makeup products. I also have some hair favorites of the month. Um, the first one is um, by Paul Mitchell. It's this Super Skinny Serum. And I've had this for a while, and I kind of used it at first when I got it, but then I didn't really use it. And I've been starting to use it again and been using it pretty consistently. And how I use it, I just take a pea-sized amount, and then I just apply it to the top of like where my part is. Because I tend to have a lot of flyaways, but this really works to smooth them down. And I also just put it in the rest of my, bring it down, more to the rest of my hair. I'm just going to smooth my hair in. I really like this. It works a little bit, goes a long way, and it kind of has like an apple scent to it, which I really like. And my other hair um, product has been this Aussie 3-Minute Miracle, which I love because I desperately needed a deep conditioner. And I love this because it makes my hair so soft, but the best part about it is the scent. It smells like coconuts, and even after I wash the product away, my hair still smells really, really good. So I've been loving this. So those have been my beauty favorites. I don't have that many, but um, these have been things that I've really been liking this month. So I also have some entertainment favorites. The first has been my favorite book, and this month it's Divergent by Veronica Roth. And even though this is almost like 500 pages, it's young adult, um, and it's very captivating, and it's really just easy to read. I almost read the whole book in just one day, because um, it's one of those books that you want to know what's going to happen, so you just keep reading. Um, but it's about, so it says it's dystopian, it's this futuristic society set in Chicago, even though it, it's not Chicago of now, it's like Chicago in the future. Um, but after like modern society like fell and like this new society was erected and um, this new society is broken up into five different factions. And when um, teenagers reach the age of 16, they have to decide what faction they're gonna live in. So this is the faction that determines like they live there. This is where they'll do everything. This is how this determines what job they'll have their whole life. So the main character, Beatrice, she has to decide between the faction that she was born into where her family is and then the faction um, that maybe she's a little more like aligned with like her personality and her personal traits. So the different factions are, so kind of when society fell and this new society um, came about, each faction um, decided to, like a personal like value that they thought would help like society stay intact. Um, so the one that she, the main character was originally from, um, that she was born into, 
with like this selfless society where people are all like the same and they all help each other and volunteer. Um, then she has to choose between that society and then this other one that's more for bravery and courage and um, they're more of like the police protector type of people of the society. There's also one that's all about honesty and truthfulness. There's one about happiness and then there's one that places knowledge is the most important. So it's kind of interesting to see like where you'd fit in in this sort of society. Um, that makes it interesting. But it's definitely a book, I, just, I don't know, I just kept what, like reading it and seeing what's going to happen and there's a lot of like interesting twists and turns in this book and even a like a romantic love story which it wasn't like too heavy on the that part of it because sometimes if that's like the main focus of the book um, it can kind of just the rest of the action part of it is a little lack lacking but this definitely had a good balance of action and sort of the love stories which made it really interesting um yeah, and I've been loving, like, ever since The Hunger Games, I've been into the whole, like, dystopian novels trend. And this is definitely, of the dystopian novels I read, besides Hunger Games, this has probably been my favorite of that genre. So I definitely recommend it if you like those sorts of novels. Um, so for her favorite movie of the month, it probably won't come as much of a surprise since I've talked about it before, but I did see The Hunger Games. And... Um, I'll keep it brief because I had go on and on about the movie, but I really liked it. I've read the books. I know people are being very, like, didn't like the movie and being very critical of everything about it, but for me, I thought it was good. The parts that they didn't show in the movie, I felt like didn't need to be shown. They really took the most important storyline, plot moving forward parts and showed that, and they couldn't show every little thing. It's a movie. You can't have it be nine hours long and show every little detail. There's a little, there's a few parts that were a little, like, could have elaborated more on. But overall, I really liked the movie. I thought the casting was really great. I thought it looked really great. So I was very happy with the Hunger Games movie. And then, finally, um, there's been a few things each month. I kind of talk about what I've been focusing on for the month. I don't know what the theme of this month was. I guess it's more change or, like, more just tweaking my lifestyle choices. Um, so one thing I've been doing um, is I want to read a lot more. So I'll be in weird moods. Sometimes I won't read for months and then I'll be in like a really big reading mood. So I've definitely been reading a lot more and really enjoying that. And then something else I've been doing is getting back into the swing of eating healthy. Um, which I see for me, I'm, it's easier for me to eat healthier during like the summer, spring, warmer months than in the winter. Because in the summer and spring, I definitely am more alone when I eat salads and fresh fruits and vegetables. So I've been getting back on to that. And just specific, <laughs> I can't even talk, things that I've been doing. Um, one, drinking a lot more water, um, drinking green tea or just tea in general versus like coffee drinks. I've been trying to cut out like Starbucks because... When I go to Starbucks, I just don't order, like, a plain coffee. I'll get, like, a Frappuccino because I don't really like coffee. But if I put, like, cream and chocolate and different stuff into it, then I like it. But then it's not, it doesn't have anything valuable for you. It's just, just a lot of, ca uh, like, empty, bad calories. So I'm trying to cut that out. I'm trying to cut down on sweets, um, trying to eat more vegetables, just trying to be healthier in general. And I, I don't know. I don't want to like totally deny myself all the f any food that I want, but I'm trying to be more conscientious about what I'm eating and just trying to pay attention more. So that's definitely been something that I've been doing this month. But I definitely want to continue doing as it, um, the months go on and try to just have a more healthy lifestyle in general rather than it being like a special, like I have to pay so much attention to it. So those have been my favorites for the month of March. I'd love to hear about yours as well, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.